small or an orange is a good size. And with bigger shapes, I encourage you to try and draw with your shoulder rather than your wrist, because your shoulder makes bigger shapes a lot easier. It's also the only exercise artists get. I don't go outside. <laughs> you want to leave some room on top for her ears and her accessories as well. So very nice and light and very messy here. Keep going with your circles. Add in a lot of circles. Because not one individual circle that I have here, none of them are perfect, but together, if you kind of close one eye and squint, you know, like, it works, right? You can take that circle, though, and cut it in half right down the center, top to bottom. We're adding in what we call guidelines, and these lines help us proportion out her face. So we'll cut it in half one more time with a straight line going left to right. So now you have this big old plus sign, a Disney plus, where you can see Minnie and all her friends. <laughs> we want to add in two more guidelines here. Now, think of this as like a pizza, and you need to add two more slices to it. So these two slices here on top, cut them in half one more time. These are going to help us with Minnie's ears. Her ears have rules to them that the animators have to follow. They have to sit at a 45 degree angle, no matter which way she faces. And the second rule is that her ears are also half the size of her face. So if you measure out half of your circle, that's how big you want to make those ears. Uh, but if you're not in the measuring mood, uh, you can just make them bigger. So don't make them too small. If they're too small, she tends to look like a bear cub or a chipmunk. And we want mini mouse, not mini chipmunk. And there you go. You got mini. Yay. <laughs> I mean, this is a hidden Mickey, you know? Uh, and Walt Disney wanted these characters to have a very recognizable silhouette. He wanted it to be very easily like looked at by just three simple circles that you knew that this was Mickey, and if you had a bow on top, it's Minnie. Uh, so we'll add in some facial features now. We'll add in her nose. It's going to be an oval, about the size of like a grape or an olive, and it's going to sit underneath your horizontal guideline. So we want to add in this little oval here, a little bit squished, sitting on its side. And this will be the first thing about our sketch that we want to go back and keep. Uh, so this is called locking down your shapes or locking down your lines. So you're going to pick out the lines you like the best from this oval and make them stand out really nice and dark here. So if there's anything about your sketch that you don't like, if you drew the oval in the wrong spot, that's okay. Draw it in a new spot and then lock in that oval. So now you can really see this nose is really popping out towards you. And something we can do for Minnie is shade in her nose. She was originally animated in black ink and white as a paper. So working with a pencil is very close to her original look. We'll also add in a snout line. Yeah, wow. This line, this little rainbow that goes across her nose, uh, this is her snout, showing us that her nose sticks out towards us, that it's not flat on her face. It gives a little depth to her sketch. We're also going to give Minnie a smile, and her smile sits about halfway between the bottom of her nose and the bottom of wherever you pick the bottom of your circle to be. I pick around there, that's my halfway point. And you want to stretch out a nice big letter U shape. And for me, sometimes breaking up bigger shapes into smaller pieces just makes it a little bit easier here. But we give Minnie a nice big smile because who wouldn't be happy being Minnie Mouse, you know? As she's dating the richest mouse in the world. They have castles all over the, uh, like the world too. And, um, you know, she's got her own business. So she don't need Mickey if she don't want to. She got her own house too. Uh, we want to add in two smile lines here on the end. Uh, these two little rainbows makes it look like her smile's pushing up her cheeks. We also want to add in an open mouth smile for Minnie too. Uh, so by adding one more letter U shape from your bigger letter U, this is going to be about the width of the nose and it's going to extend down towards the bottom of your circle. It can even go outside of your circle if you feel like your circle is a little too small. Uh, because the further outside of it you bring her open mouth, her laughing smile as we call it, and she'll look like she's definitely laughing a lot, or maybe she's like on a roller coaster and she's like yelling, you know, she's like screaming. But we'll add in her tongue here on the inside. Her tongue, 
are these two little hill shapes, these little rolling hills of me in the center. Something you can do here too, some extra credit, is by shading in the back of the mouth. It makes the tongue sit forward and we don't have to look at what else is in there. Like the churros are in there. We'll add in her bottom lip with her open mouth going off the bottom of my circle. We want to frame it back in. So I'm going to add in another letter U shape that follows the first curve of that open mouth smile. I'm just tucking that back into my circle. The last thing we want to do for the bottom half of Minnie's face is add in her cheeks. Her cheeks being pushed up and out by her smile sit over here towards the horizontal guidelines. They're going to look like a couple of stretched out candy canes or a couple of like upside down letter J's too. Uh, so add in these two little rainbows poking out towards the sides of your circle. And you can basically trace your circle all the way back down to her bottom lip. These cheeks make her look very young and very youthful. Uh, but Minnie, she's actually 94 years old. She turned 94 last November. And she shares a birthday with Mickey as well, because they both debuted in Steamboat Willie on November 18th, 1928. So that is both of their birthdays. Uh, they also debuted as a couple as well. So they've been dating for 94 years as well. Yeah. Put a ring on it. Dating. He hasn't put a ring on it yet. Do you say you're they don't have kids? No. Canes? Well, Mickey and Minnie are kind of immortal. Yeah. Yeah. They are perpetually like 12 years old. Like, I don't think they'll ever be like a cane or anything like that. Unless they're using it as a prop, you know, like they could to dance with. I think that's something they would do. Uh, but Mickey and Minnie, they've been dating for 94 years. We've never seen a cartoon where they get married. That's why we say that they're still dating. Uh, but does anyone know who the vo uh, voice actor of Mickey was, the original one? Walt Disney? Shadow? Yeah, it was Walt Disney himself. Now, who was Minnie Mouse's first voice actor? His wife. You say his wife? That would be a good guess, but it was actually also Walt Disney. <laughs> he just made his voice a little bit higher, you know. Uh, but later on, in I believe around the 90s, the early 90s, they got two different voice actors for Mickey and Minnie. A uh, Rusty Taylor and uh, Wayne Allwine. Wayne Allwine played Mickey, Rusty Taylor played Minnie Mouse. These two actors, they never met before these roles, and they actually got to know each other playing both mice, and they actually fell in love and got married. Yeah, so that's how we can consider Mickey and Minnie married at that point. We want to add in her eyes, because right now we just see Mickey Mouse. We want to add in her eyes where we really start seeing Minnie. And their eyes, there are a couple of surfboards sitting in a hill of sand. So two ovals that sit slightly behind that snout. So I'm adding them in, very nice and light here and very close together. They should go about halfway up. You just want the bottom part of that eye cut off by your snout. So now you can see those two surfboards in there. Or if you're like, I don't want to sketch in an oval, you can do it a different way where you can draw in like a parenthesis on one side, a parenthesis on the other side, and then close it off with a rainbow on top. But we still have Mickey. What can we get for Minnie at Sephora for her eyes? Yeah, so mascara for her lashes, right? Uh, so we want to add some eyelashes on top of both of these eyes. And they're just three flicks of the pencil. You just want the middle lash to be longer than the other two. Yes. <laughs> Minnie's had some different looks to her eyes too. And back in the 1920s, these two surfboards were shaded in solid black. Uh, but in the 1940s, Mickey showed up in Fantasia where he had to change his eyes to uh, be able to act with them where they got these solid pupils on the insides of those surfboard shapes, these little ovals here. But if you don't want to draw in the ovals, you could draw some hearts or some stars. Minnie did get her Hollywood Walk of Fame star uh, in 2018. It took them long enough, really. Yeah. We want to add in some shading, though. So either way, if you want to make her eyes like the old style, the 1920s style, you can shade them in all the way or just these little pupils. Make them nice and dark so that way they stand out. Something that she kept from the 1920s, her and Mickey kept what's called a character mask. 
So I'm gonna add the like curvy letter V shape where the character mask meets here in the center. So it's like a little stick figure bird. And then we'll go from the cheek and bring on up this like really big parentheses. It should look like a very stretched out letter M, you know, M for Minnie or Mickey or Mouse, lots of M's. Or like the top part of a heart here. But we're missing one crucial accessory for Miss Minnie, right? What are we missing? Yeah, her bow. So her bow sits right on the top of her head. And you can add in a different accessory if you want. She used to wear a flower pot hat back in the day. But if you want to give her something else, you could also maybe draw a bunny up there for the Lunar New Year. Maybe you want to draw a crown or something. You know, she's a queen. Uh, so we are going to add in that bow, though. Or I am. I'm just going to add in the bow. I'll add in the knot of the bow here, right in between her ears, just adding in an oval. At the top of the knot of the bow, you want to stretch on out these two, like, bent out rainbows. Kind of looks like uh, it turned that, like, little oval there into, like, Cricky from Mulan. You know, he's chilling up there. I'm going to curve these on in towards the insides of her ears. So it's like you have this another bent out letter M. Or it's like the top part of these butterfly wings here. The bottom part of it, it's got these smaller letter C curves because the ribbon actually creases right around where the knot of the bow is. So right around here in the middle part, I'm just gonna pull it in a little bit here. Now it definitely looks like a butterfly now. Uh, to make this look more like a bow, we add what's called tension lines where fabric pulls uh, tightest, it tends to crease. So I'm adding in two little rainbows coming out of the side of the knot of the bow. And to show the ribbon is folding over itself, I'll add in two more curved lines towards the top. Now we can go ahead and lock in whatever's left of her ears. Sorry I didn't mention it earlier, uh, but her bow, whatever accessory she wears, tends to sit in front of those ears. But this is where you can go back and start adding in extra details if you like. Maybe you want to give her a balloon. Maybe you want to decorate her bow. Maybe you want to add in some polka dots. Apparently yesterday was National Polka Dot Day and it was like Minnie's like favorite holiday. <laughs> but go back and darken up any lines that might have gotten faded or smudged during your drawing process. You can add in some more things. Like I like to add some shading. It really starts to make things stand out for sure. Uh, but go back and add in what you want and find a good spot once you're all done somewhere next to your sketch of Minnie and sign your name. That is the last thing every artist needs. And you've just drawn your very own portrait of Miss Minerva Mouse. That's her full name. Minnie is her nickname. But don't call her that, she might get mad. I'd love to see how everyone did. Uh, so let's have an art show on the count of three. Let's take a look at all these sketches, all right? One, two, three, let's see, Minnie. Very cute over here, excellent job, Minnie. I like the flower pot hat there. You guys did so amazing. Nice big happy cheeks and nice big smiles. We got some classic Minnie's out there. Very nice hearts. Everyone's got very good proportions. I'm not seeing any chipmunks or bear cubs out there. I like it. I can see her. You guys did such a good job. These are all masterpieces. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You passed the Animation Academy. Go ahead and take these off your boards, though. These are for you to keep and take home with you as a souvenir. I'm going to leave you here with Josh. He's going to help you on out. If we don't see you again for another class today, have a wonderful rest of your day. Class is dismissed. Round of applause for your amazing artist, Danny. Thank you so much for joining us in the Animation Academy. Those drawings are souvenirs for you to take home with you.